Hey everybody, it's Michael Silvis from New Hunter Church of Christ. Um, I, wa I wanted to read this letter to you from Liberty FM. Uh, well, Liberty, but it's really Journey FM. It changed the name from Victory FM, but it's from Liberty University. The station there. I actually won this shirt. You see this shirt here? Let me turn the light on. It's a little dark in here. I figured I could do this with the light was the way it is without using electricity. Just got to save a little bit. See the shirt? It says, uh, can you read that? It says, uh, it says uh, Journey FM, 88.3. That's the campus station in Lynchburg there at Liberty University. It says Life, Hope, and Music there. It's great. They sent this to me. And they sent me this letter. I'm going to read it to you. It says, Congratulations. It says, uh, You are receiving this gift or prize. Um... That basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and magnify this a little bit because it is a little small for me to read this. There we go. All right, it says you are receiving this gift or prize that's complimentary of Journey FM. It says we really do appreciate your very support of the journey and pray that you will continue to listen and to encourage many others to listen as well. It says, should you, should you have any concerns or questions regarding this item or the details that are contained that came in the package, please feel free to give us a call at The Journey. Our office is, it has an 800 number here, 424-9594, uh, or email us at the office at journeyfm.com. So it gives the answer there, and it has... It has Journey on there. See that Journey? It's, it's really, really nice. So that's what they sent me, this gray shirt here. We got it on. It says, uh, so I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Life, hope, music, the journey. Thank you for the shirt. All right, so anyway. Anyway, we got another commercial too, but we're not making no money on this YouTube, so don't get no ideas to try to bust the hole in me because uh, I'm not making no money on this. All right. I probably did have it right the first time. I? I think I was holding it upside down. So, um, okay. So, this is Wawa. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the right way. All right, this is Wawa. See the flyer? If you want something cool to eat and some good treats, go to Wawa everywhere where they're located. Fill yourself up on all their ices and their featured coffee here. And uh, get you some subs that are made fresh to order, and they have good gas prices on gasoline, too. Go in there and say that Solis Media sent you, and say hi to Al for me. He works off of, um, his name is Al. I hope he's still employed there. But uh, he works, at, he used to work, or he does, or he used to when I knew him, when I lived in Henrico. Go to the one off of uh, Brook Run. And he works at that location there up towards Virginia Center to Commons Mall, unless he moved up north, so I don't know. But if you know what store that Al works at, he used to work for 7-Eleven, tell him I said hi. And uh, please send us some lunch, Wawa. Sometimes y'all do. Please send us some lunch. It's a hint, hint, with a free advertisement there. Thanks for the uh, thing. But anyway, if you receive the circular, they got some good program. They got some good coupons in here if you look at it. And, uh, you know, on sandwiches, on hoagies, and beverages. Uh, they got some other stuff down here in the bottom of it. Uh, and then also on the back, this is probably for the one here that's located in Mechanicsville. It has a, uh, it has like a little drawing of a stick map there. See? And it shows you where it's located, and this pretty much... Shows you what it looks like if you were to drive up to it. So that's pretty much it. That's the Wawa Flyers. They have good food, good eats, good cool and hot treats. And uh, they have lottery and they have tobacco. They have all your beer if you're getting stocked up for all that. Wawa is a good place to work and it's a good place to get things to eat and they make good sandwiches. I don't go there for the beer and the lot lottery and all. I just go there for the sandwiches and the, the icy treats. They're awesome. So anyway, Wawa keep doing this stuff. And uh, thank you for your support with the hot meals you send over here every once in a while for the Silvis' Media.
at New Hunter Church of Christ on Sunday. Um, so for the congregation here, uh, for some people there, thank you for providing that. Uh, also, we also work with chick, chicken Chick-fil-A, too, and sometimes they send sandwiches over. And uh, we want to thank those people for that, and I uh, want to thank that they help out the food bank with the rest or extra sandwiches that they do have to help out communities so that people can heat up stuff. And uh, at the Friends Evangelical Church, they actually help out people there in their ministry by providing sandwiches there for the people there. And I think it's a wonderful thing that they do that and hope they continue to do that partnership because they have some good sandwiches and a lot of people do really do appreciate those sandwiches. And the pretzels are awesome too. And all this stuff, even when you get it fresh, it's good. So, uh, you know, go to Wawa, support them, and support Journey FM, which used to be called Victory FM. I think I said that at the beginning of the podcast. But like I said, I don't have a teleprompter here. I'm ab living here, folks. But support, you know, like you support us, those who support us, try to support these people. Because they're actually a sponsor and affiliate of ours. So please help support Journey. You know, they started, uh, the station has changed from Victory FM on January 1st of this year. I love their routine. I love their news program schedule. If you want to see all the old programming, you can go to uh, Journey FM, and they have links there to take you to where the programs are because they still have them. They just don't put them on the air as much. But, you know, uh, you know that's what people want it because they want to listen to more music, and they want it not all, the, all those talking programs. I mean, they still air some, but a lot of them have been, uh, they're still on the website, so, you know, the donations that come from those they still get. Because they still air them on their website. So you can go there. That's what a lot of stations are doing. Because a lot of people want to hear more music than hear all those talk shows. Uh, and, you know, sometimes it's good to have stuff on the air. I don't have nothing against that. But anyway, if you're thinking about sending your son or daughter to a Christian school. And you're thinking about Liberty. Think about Liberty University. Uh, you know, they have great classes, great degree programs. That can both educate you, your, your child, and you because you'll be getting all the knowledge that your children come home with when they come home on midterm and when they come home for summer break and they'll be sharing and impressing you of all the wonderful knowledge that they've been learning at liberty uh, you know through all the instruction and training and things that they learn and uh you know plus you'll be given you'll be getting back and they'll be getting a lot and they'll be blessed because they went to a, a christian school uh, liberty happens to be one of the biggest christian schools i mean universities in the united states and not the biggest but they're one of the biggest and, uh, you know, they have over, I think, 20-some thousand students, and that's on campus. It's almost 30,000 students they have on campus. And then, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure they will, And uh, because I'm trying to promote them here. I don't have no data here in front of me, but then they have a big online program, too. So if you're not able to go to school or to the university to take classes under the instruction of the professors, you can actually do it online and take the classes and attend when you can attend when your schedule is permitted. They have the program, they have all the classes all recorded online for you, so you can take your plethora, your plethora of studies and concentrations and get your degree online without even going there. But they do require that you do go there for graduation to receive your diploma, your degree diploma, or your doctorate degree. They have doctorate degrees too. They have uh, doctorate degrees in bio and. Uh, and theology and, and homiletics and preaching and they have it also in missions and they have it in teaching they have it also in justice they have it in computer science i mean liberty really has got a lot of good things and i say that because i'm alumni of the school and also help support and help raise money for liberty so you know support them like you support us and those who give to us donate to us if you want to donate to us and we give it to liberty in one big check or to journey fm don't just say Journey FM in the memo portion of the check. But you can put my name on the to order of where it says that. Or you can put the Silvis's Media on the order of. You know, the bank will take it. You know, you just put my name, M I K E L, D Silvis, D E S I L V I S. Or you can just put the business name in the order of. Just put the Silvis's, it's D E S I L V I S, the apostrophe after it. And the media is all caps. And then put in the memo what it's for. Is it for the ministry? Is it for the radio, for Journey FM? You know, is it for Liberty University? Or is it for to help out the ministry here at New Hunter Church of Christ or to help out the business here? Or if it's something that's going to all these things, just say it's for all the other ministries that you do and support. And we want to thank those people. You know, Alex Jones, too. Don't forget about him. We also help him out, too. 
Uh, we're all working together to do good for the Almighty God, and that's what we do here. And that's what we're all trying to do here is trying to get the word out, the truth out. So please help us out in that regard and help these ministries too, who we sponsor and who we are promoting, who are affiliates. And help your area affiliates. You know, work with people who are local. Work with people who are honest. A lot of times you get a lot better deal with a guy like me than you can at Walmart. Because you get the extra service that Walmart doesn't get you or give you. And you get the know-how like in computers that Walmart does not give you. So you might pay a little more for that, but you get a lot more worth, worth out of it because you get something that you get the services that people know and you, they know, you, you know what you're talking about and you know about the electronics that you sell instead of going to somebody and buying something and asking them and they don't know half of what's, go, what's in their apartment and they don't even know how to work half the stuff. When you go to Walmart, it's like that. You know, or any of those big box stores, not just Walmart. And you know, Best Buy, you know, especially Geek Squad. A lot of, some of those people don't even know half the stuff they sell. And I'm not being mean, they don't. You know, that's one thing they should pride themselves on. At least that's they say they do. But a lot of people, when I went to some of them the other day, you know, some of these people I go to don't seem like to know half the stuff of what they sell, the products, the services, or, you know, and that's what's hurting their business, you know. You got to give people a personal touch. Just give Walmart help, give Best Buy help. You got to know what you sell in your departments. You know, you got to educate your associates so they know what they're carrying. That's so important. If you want to make more money and you want to stay in business, you need to do that. But you want to go the extra mile. You know, work with people who are local. Work with people who know this stuff. Work with people that have certifications and clearances. Work with people that go the extra mile and make you happy. Sometimes it costs a little more to do that that way, but at least you know you're walking away, A, with something that they know about and that they can explain what you need and you'll get the right thing the first time, unlike all these other places. Sometimes you got to go back three or four times before you get the right thing. But go with people that stick with people that, that are local, that get that are Christian, and that will help you and give you the stuff you need and who will serve you the right way the right in the first time and it'll be you know, you don't have to keep coming back. So think about that. Thanks a lot. Please pray for us and please donate and subscribe down below. You can watch for free, you can subscribe for free, but please donate if you feel moved to, because we do need your money for the things, the new NAS, new computer. Uh, you can donate at Logos.com as well. And you can call the accounts department on Logos.com. I'm going to pull this up for you really fast and give you that number again. You just give them my name when you call the account department. And you just um, tell them I'd like to make a donation to Michael and spell my name M-I-K-E-L. D Silvis, D E S I L V I S. And then you give my email. It's Michael's all lowercase, M I K E L, B as in boy, T as in Tom, M as in Mary, N as in Nancy, at, oh, I forgot, 71 after the Nancy, and then at gmail.com. I almost messed up there. So it's M I K E L B T M N 71 at gmail.com. If you want to send a donation by snail mail, you can send it at 7110. New Hunter Road, apartment 423, Mechanicsville, Virginia, 23101. Make sure you put New Hunter Church of Christ above us for New Hunter Church of Christ, or for the Silvis' Media, put the Silvis' Media above 7110. All right? So thank you for all the people that do help us out. We really do need it. And uh, that we can, the more money we get, the more we can do as far as broadcasting, get the truth out, you know, which seems to be more and more going to be more and more challenging and we're going to have to find out more elaborate ways to get around the internet to you know opposition or the internet to uh, things that they're trying to activate and um, there are ways to get around that and it's not illegal but uh, you know that's what we're going to have to do to be more creative and more uh, advancing and more technological wise and more advanced than they are so we can get around the government's you know restrictions like they do in other countries um, so just be in prayer for us, and uh, we'll pray for Journey, and pray for Liberty University, and pray for the radio stations that are doing the good thing, like Journey FM, that they can stay on the air in spite of these new regulations, which are horrible. And, uh, you know, we're all concerned about that. Liberty is a concern, and we are too. And uh, we're all in prayer, and we all need to work and vote against this and stop this legislation and you know, contact lawyers, go through the due process peaceful, peaceably, and uh, have protest against this stuff because it's going to affect all your life from everything you do not just in just broadcasting but 
even just in when you publish a book or anything. So think about that. Anyway, we'll see you later. It's Michael DeSillis for In the News for March the 14th, 2015. And thank you, Liberty, for the shirt. Through life, hope, music, the journey, FM. See you later. You can use it on Journey FM. I love you. See you later. Bye.